I mean, let's face it, surprisingly awesome fragrances are super hard to come by. At least today, many of the fragrances out there are just sort of fruity sweet with a citrus top. And most of them are very linear and not very memorable. So you literally have to smell your way through a ton of fragrances to find a few that will surprise you and you actually think that they're awesome. That's how I came up with this video. I have some recent fragrances that I purchased and all of the fragrances coming up have surprised me in one way or another. It could be a deviation from the current scent profile in that line or a big improvement to the current scent profile or just plain an awesome fragrance. All of these fragrances will get you compliments and help you stand out in a crowd in the best possible way, of course. Feel free to leave me your thoughts on my choices in the comments and let me know which surprising fragrances you found lately. Let's start with Hugo Boss Bottled. There are a ton of Hugo Boss Bottled fragrances in that line that are quite good. Like the Hugo Boss Bottled Intense, a beautiful spicy apple pie fragrance from 2015. The original came out in the 90s and it's a slight bit lighter, also very nice. I still wear both of those fragrances every now and then. The awesome and surprising addition to this line is going to be Boss Bottled Elixir from 2023 this one right here. Boss Bottle Elixir is a completely new scent, deviating from the apple pie in such a way it could have been its own fragrance completely and entirely. Gone are the spices and the apple pie. Instead, you get a more mature fragrance with nearly the power of Dior Sauvage Elixir. You'll be met with a powerful patchouli, lapdanum, and some resinous olibanum, also known as frankincense. There's a tiny little bit of a chocolate vibe in this one right here, but it's on the dark side of chocolate. At least I think so. Elixir smells great, unique, and a little bit more on the mature side due to the missing sweetness. It is probably best suited for like evenings and cooler temperatures for most people anyway. I'll wear this one all year. If you like powerful fragrances with a stellar performance in longevity and projection, then this is a really superb choice. Just remember that this Boss Bottle Elixir has almost no sweetness and it is a little bit more of a mature fragrance. Since we're going and doing some powerful ones, let's do another powerful one for our next one. I just picked this one up at the airport at the Duty Free Shop in Frankfurt, Germany. I think it was last summer. Beautiful fragrance. It is the Kenzo Om Eau de Parfum. This one was released in 2022, I believe. This one right here is a powerful leather patchouli with a marine touch. It's hard to imagine. Now it doesn't smell like seaweed at all. Om EDP smells more like the depths of the ocean if they were on the warmer side. One more thing. The signature of the perfumer Quentin Bish is definitely noticeable in this stellar fragrance from Kenzo. My next two choices are going to be a little bit more on the soft and mellow side. They still smell amazing and perform well, but they won't fill a room like these two will. <laughs> the first one that we'll look at is going to set you back a little bit as far as your wallet's concerned. You can find it online for a better price for sure. And it is going to be from Initio and it's Initio Perfumes Preve. This one is released in 2022 and it is Paragon. It fits right alongside with Rehab and Musk Therapy. If you've smelled those two, it's really beautiful, the ones in white. This one has a, a white citrus nuance from the Palo Santo wood combined with a succulent plum. Now I won't dive too deep into this Paragon right here since I did do a comparison uh, of all the Initios in an earlier video. Uh, I think you'll enjoy it uh, if you like Initio and I'll link it for you in the description you know, if you want, if you want to watch it later. For now, Paragon is a wonderful addition to the already existing, you know, white line, if you will. The notes on here, you know, bergamot, white sage, lavender, plum, palo santo wood, black pepper, sandalwood, and agar wood. It's a beautiful fragrance. Absolutely love this one. It's a great addition to that one. And if you're interested, like I said, you can watch the video. Beautiful, surprising one. I didn't know how they're gonna make a third one to fit into the white line, but very nice. The next mellow one that I got, also beautiful, a stunning surprise to me, 
is a Carolina Herrera CH Men, and it is Passion, released in 2023. I don't see too many people, you know, talking about this one. It, for me, it's a stellar fragrance. It's a cozy, resinous fragrance. One of my favorite releases of 23. This is for, you know, the fragrance for you guys out there and girls who like uh, Dior Homme style powdery iris, but you're looking for something a little bit more on the newer side, you know, because you want something a little bit different. I love this one. I actually bought two bottles of this one a few days after one another, so I'd never run out. This is one of those fragrances you can wear anytime, anywhere. If you're unsure what to wear, Passion always works. It will last a full nine to five with no problem, with sort of moderate protection. It's not super loud, but it will last all day. I usually get a compliment from this one when I wear it. And you know, then again, who doesn't like a woody, resinous, sort of almost buttery iris? Absolutely gorgeous fragrance. Beautifully done from Carolina Herrera. It surprised me because the other ones don't smell anything like this. And this is sort of an outlier. Absolutely love it. My next outlier will probably make some of you want to click off. But try to resist if you can, because this next one is surprisingly awesome. Not something I would have expected from Paco Rabanne at all. And it is going to be the one million and it's the Oud. Stellar, stellar fragrance. Trust me when I tell you this is good stuff. Created by the perfumer who created fragrances like Isemiake's Ombre Noir or Noir Ombre. Also, Passion, the one we just talked about, he also had a hand in this one. And some of the Roberto Cavallis. They're absolute gems if you can get a hold of them. This is a warm, spicy leather fragrance with some so floral sort of veiled in a good dose of smoky wood. It's like the old million wants to come through some smoky wood. Absolutely gorgeous. This will make you feel like you are the boss's boss. Stellar performance without being a room filler, masculine, and probably not for work. This golden oud could have been a star on its own. Surprisingly awesome if you can look, you know, past the kitschy golden bar. I came up with this list because I wore all of these fragrances recently. And while I was wearing these, I just happened to pick them from the shelf, you know, recently. And all I could think of that I was surprised in one way or another how the line just kind of changed or it was something different and better. I really just liked it. All of them smelled great all day, uh, including this next one. It's from the classic house of Hubigand. Just like Kenzo, I purchased this Ombre de Abyssus, you know, during a vacation and there's a beautiful fragrance. Now it does remind me of, you know, the Green Goblin a little bit you know, the uh, Gucci Guilty Elixir, this one right here. It does, it will remind you a little bit of it. Uh, I did do a comparison video on that earlier too. They're similar, but not the same. However, Hubigant is going to be much, much classier. I guess you could say it's a, a more grown up version of that. This 2023 has notes of geranium and rosemary, lending it a more of a mature vibe. Not in a dated way at all, but in a kind of style kind of way. It's not overly sweet. Uh, it has some complexity, plenty of warmth and power. It's a beautiful fragrance and it's a, a gorgeous bottle. You know, absolutely stunning. Hubigant Amber de Ambisus will last you all day and it can literally be worn at any point and anywhere. It is unique and people will remember this smell when you wear it because it is unique. When I bought this one, it wasn't at the discounters yet. So I paid a good dollar for it. However, I did see this one recently popping up at discounters and it's a great deal for what you can get it for. I paid twice as much for it. It's an awesome bottle with an equal amazing juice. Hubigant Ombre d'Ambisus. If you like the Green Goblin, but you want something a little bit more elegant, this is the one to get. Stunning and surprising. My next one is a brand new one. It literally just came out recently. Uh, I didn't even do like a opening or anything on that. I just opened it and 
I've been wearing it a lot. Like three days in a row. That's how much I liked it. I just love the easy wearing approach that this next one has. Just spray and go. That's how this one works for me. Anytime, anywhere. I'm talking about the Burberry Hero Parfum from 2024, this year. It surprised me because honestly, I wasn't a fan of the, you know, Burberry Hero line. The Eau de Toilette, it just didn't move me, not even an inch. When the Eau de Parfum came out, I came close. Definitely a big improvement to the EDT. I almost bought the Eau de Parfum after acquiring this little tiny little fella right here. I almost bought it, almost. But then my hopes were, you know, answered when this Parfum came out right here. Stunning, surprising, love this one. Wow, it is surprising to me. Reminiscent of yesteryear in sort of a modernized way, thick and earthy. You know, think uh, Hugo Boss Elixir with mixed with this EDP right here with a nice dose of earthiness. Just a stellar fragrance. Anytime, anywhere, never got tired of it. Absolutely love this one. And it has a magnetic cap. I mean, what else do you want? I did compare it side by side to the Ford Ebene, you know, online, you know, right as I was buying this one, I was kind of looking, hey, what does it smell like before I buy it? And online, you know, people say it smells like Tom Ford's Ebene fume, you know. So I tried it at the store side by side, uh, since it seems to be what everybody's saying. Uh, Actually, to me, no, that's not what I get at all. But let me know your thoughts on that. Do you think that the new Burberry Hero smells like the Tom Ford Ebony Fume? To me, side by side, they did not. I like this one better, at least to my nose. Like I said, for me, I'm totally digging this one. There's only one thing that I wish that was a little bit better. I do have to reapply this one at the six hour mark. I wish that was a little bit better. But other than that, this one, Great pickup for 2024. Ciao.